An unexpected announcement from a longtime state lawmaker. After decades of service in both the state house and Senate, Brenda Gilmore says she's stepping down. That's according to a spokesperson for the state house caucus. But as News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, the timing means more candidates could now vie for the seat despite a key deadline passing. What's true about Senator Brenda Gilmore is she spent a long time up at the state legislature, decades. However, her timing on deciding when to retire may trigger an old law from the 90s. And we're here today to appeal. She spent decades up here in the halls of the state capitol building and in many, many committees. Senator Brenda Gilmore is well known to say the least, but she's stepping down. We talked with another longtime Nashville Democrat who's also stepping aside this year. There is no one I have served with of whom I have a higher opinion than Senator Gilmore. So we are definitely losing a great public official. Stewart says he's leaving so he can focus on his efforts on combating fake fraud claims in the next presidential election. We don't know what's next for Senator Gilmore, but we do know her announcement past the April 7th filing deadline for candidates for her district triggers a law with an interesting name, Anti-Skullduggery Act. Fancy but a serious law to prevent a potential passing of the baton situation in elections. There's only one candidate currently in the race for District 19. It's Keita Haynes, a former public defender and congressional candidate. The law requires a filing window for other potential candidates to enter the race. According to the Election Commission, it could be between April 21st and 28th. They say they haven't seen Senator Gilmore's paperwork yet. Representative Stewart says it makes sense. The, the law is structured so that if someone decides to get out, uh, additional people can consider the election. So I think it's fair to everybody. Kyle Haran, News Channel 5. And we have reached out to Senator Gilmore for comment. We haven't heard back yet. Gilmore must submit her official withdrawal before April 21st for a new filing deadline to then be set.